All right, hello everybody. Now it's been a while since my last video, but anyway, I had made some revisions to my small CNC machine, mainly which is uh, building a new controller. If you remember last, I had a Gecko G540 uh, uh, with a 48 volt power supply running off the USB CNC 5A board. Um, I have moved away from the G540 and I'm using Leadshine DM542 drives. Uh, they're here in this fractal design enclosure. It's in one of the drive bays. Uh, you can see the brass screws that hold each drive up. It's hard to see the drives. So you can see a little bit of them over there. But anyway, uh, I'm using these wall warts to power the fans and the uh, the USB CNC board for now uh, I'm gonna make my own circuits as soon as I have the time but anyway to make things easier for me I got a CNC for PC simple breakout board which made the wiring pretty easy and will make things easier when I do the homing switches and such and connect to uh, my Super PID, which uh, I don't have hooked up yet to the USB CNC board. As you can see, here's a 48 volt power supply. This fractal design case is a pretty cool case for a con control box. Not that big, of course, bigger than the uh, Gecko 540 box that. I did have, but it's okay. Anyway, uh, these lead shine drives are all digital, so at standstill, they're definitely a lot quieter than the Gecko 540 box. Way less hiss, the same size power supply, and um, I get faster rapids. I'll show you here. Here's the USB CNC screen. I'll uh, wrap it across. As you can see, that's 420 inches a minute on all three axes. I'll uh, show you what that looks like. I have the acceleration set at 40. Now the USB CNC allows you to jog at half speed. Oops, that's 210. And at slow speed, uh, there's three set speeds. There's also a manual jog mode where you can set the jog to uh, up to 0 0.001 increments, which is great if you're uh, lining up work. And the UI for USB C and C is pretty cool. You can, I don't know if I could do this with holding camera. Uh, you can pan and tilt even while the job's going, which is nice. You can't do that with Mach 3. It's uh, fully OpenGL compliant too, so uh, it runs pretty quick if you have a decent sized uh, graphics processor. Anyway, I'm gonna jog this to the center here and I'll run this test program. It's just a, uh, it's just a uh, VCAR file that I'm using just to show you this machine in action let me just set the z up safe so i don't crash into my machine and we'll go now it'll be moving up to 4 to 20 inches a minute on uh, during rapids so anyway tells you to load the tool here in the uh gui let's go back to the machine I 
I got this shop thrown at 60 inches a minute feed rate. Just uh, arbitrary. So at 420 inches a minute with my uh, four TPI lead screws, that's 1,680 RPM on these uh, Cole Morgan stepper motors, which is pretty quick for a uh, stepper motor. And they do run hot, but not excruciatingly, excruciatingly hot with that uh, with those rapids, but. They're, they're very smooth and they're actually capable of 3,000 RPM uh, with 72 volts, but it's probably a little uh, more than I want and I'll probably lower the rapids to about 250 to make things a little more manageable as far as the heat. Although my stepper motor mounts are uh, solid quarter inch aluminum and at these steel standoffs which kind of act as a heat sink for the stepper so that helps as you can see the movement's pretty smooth uh, 3d movement with these dm542 stepper drives definitely uh smoother operating capable of 51,200 steps per inch uh steps for revolution which probably is not necessary for this application. Um, as you can see here, the user interface allows me to move this as the job's going. In fact, I have the internet running and CNC zone running a uh, in the background so and the calculator and I had my cam program up running before so it's definitely a uh, a very powerful uh, driver board they're not cheap I think it's a 200 something euros plus shipping but for the money I think it's one of the best drive boards out there of course building one of these will take a lot more time than a g540 where you just plug in this power supply and plug your uh stepper motors in and you're done this requires some wiring uh the auto tuning for the dm542 is pretty straightforward just move the uh, dip switch on uh, switch number four up and down real quick and it automatically tunes each motor to the proper current. Uh, I think these are three amp motors and it auto-tunes auto them so it saves you a bit of fudging around instead of uh, setting dip switches. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, I have to make a back plane for the uh, DB9 uh, receptacles and I have to install limit switches and home switches so that should be uh, hopefully soon and uh, I start doing some jobs again on this machine I have a couple jobs lined up so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this setup really powerful uh, I think a lot more powerful than my gecko drive setup though like I said it's probably a bit more complicated this whole setup probably costs about twice of what you would spend for a G540 setup but it obviously performs better I could probably crank the rapids even higher but I don't want to uh, I don't want to melt my <laughs> my uh, Acme lead nuts, which are only Delrin, so. I mean, spinning these at four or 500 RPM is one thing, but having these uh, screws spin at almost 1700 RPM is uh, probably not good in the long run, although I do keep the my lead screws lubricated. 
Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Again, one more view of my uh, control box. Hopefully I'll have that wrapped up soon. Thanks. Bye.